nerds, welcome to Nerd Locker, a place for your inner nerd. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Brandon. And this is episode 41. This week we got some Dark Knight news and some Marvel movie news, so let's get to it. Yeah. You know what it is? I just love the purple suit so much. It's awful, but for, it's so it bad, makes, it's good. No sense. She's a cat burglar, but she has a tight skin. <laughs> like, tail, yeah, that tail does not help you really? do anything. And who carries their hair? Like, where's their hair out? Like, oh, what are you guys talking about, man? What's this? Oh. Is this? Oh, where? Is he did you guys say something about Batman? We're yeah. talking about Batman. Uh, for those of you that don't know, they had decided on a costume for Catwoman, and they're going to go with the Darwin Cook version with the leather and the goggles and all that, which I actually like because I think the purple silly and, you know, I, I really don't like the Catwoman costumes we've seen in... All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, we had a few technical difficulties with a member of ours. He's been restrained. But he, our, the problem has been restrained, so we're all good. <laughs> Anyways, back to Catwoman. I love Catwoman. Um, so do I. I love most of her costumes, obviously, except for the horrible Cali Berry one. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. We don't talk about that one. No? Anymore. It didn't happen, remember? Anyways, um, I love her it classic costumes. Like one of her first ones, but it was, wasn't even like purple or anything. It was like red yeah, and everything. Oh man, those are so Sort of it's set been, mod and. Exactly, yeah. fashion icon. And, yeah. and they finally switched it up. This this last costume that she's in now this is the Darwin Cook redesign. Yeah. Darwin Cook's one of my favorite. The ones, Audrey so. Hepburn esque, really, yeah. really pretty but sexy at the same time and powerful. Love that costume. The, the leather cat suit with goggles. The it, goggles it makes yeah. sense. She's a, she's a thief, she's a cat burglar. Yeah. She needs stuff to put it in. The claws work right. She can't put everything in a cleavage. I mean, you can put a lot in there, trust me. You can put a lot. Oh, trust me. I, I believe it, but, but. So, yeah, Anne Hathaway's new costume is going to be a mixture of that Darwin Cook esque 2001, really sleek Audrey Hepburn look, but also more tactical because she's, a, again, she's a burglar. So, it'll be a good mix of all of them to where it'll be form fitting and still really sexy, but at the same time, really functional. So, I'm pretty excited to see it. Like, it's not hard to do Catwoman wrong. But it's also not hard to do Catwoman right, so yeah, I'm yeah, excited for there's it. There's a lot of little things that all the fans, like me, like you, are gonna want. And if they have like a like a purple tinge in there, <laughs> like she like moves in certain light, I might like be okay with it. Oh man, that'd be so awesome. I got a lot. So awesome. Also, they have this uh, ad that just went out for The Dark Knight Rises. Um, they wanted to destroy one of the uh, arenas in Pittsburgh. Yeah, which would have been amazing. Which would have been sweet. I mean, they did a hospital. Now it'd be like a sports arena. That's yeah. awesome. But. <laughs> But they didn't get approval for it, so they're gonna blow up parts of Heinz Field where nice. the Steelers play. Now they just send it out that they they're they're trying to get this big football game like filled out, mm -hmm. and it's it's actually a game between the Gotham City Rogues and the Rapid City Monuments, which I, I don't know what monument. They're um, pretend. It's okay. I have other nerd stuff. No, no, no. Rapid City is a real city. I know. I'm just saying. It's pretend but games. Anyways, Calm down. Beyond the point. Um, it's just, it's, it's kind of funny. You want to be extra for, for 12 hours for the yeah. day and maybe get blown up? Totally. Maybe get blown up? Oh my God. All I have for to the say, Dark Knight Rises, yeah, I would sacrifice my own. So you'll just be sitting in the seats for like 12 hours. That's the entire day. Like, if you're not like tailgating inside the arena, like cooler, little like grill, all I'm saying is that's going to be kind of awful. <laughs> it would be. I, although, if they give like Dark Knight Rises like stadium seats. Oh, how I awesome totally would that do be, it. Right? All I have to say is I hope the snack bars are open. Oh, Dude. no, they probably wouldn't be, because no? you would have to sit in that chair for 12 hours. But it's not going to be a real game. Like, people move no, and stuff. No, but they have to film. You have to be ready whenever they're ready. I'm or, just saying. I mean, you know how massive it is. Then I want a cooler. More, more hectic than an actual, like, football game True. getting out True. of people trying to get back and forth. Either way, it's going to be really hectic. Yeah. And awesome. It's, it's a football stadium. Someone might get blown want. up. Oh, I hope so. For the sake of this movie. <laughs> So a few weeks ago, we talked about how we weren't sure how they were going to incorporate more Marvel superhero movies after the Avengers, because really, if Tony Stark has a problem, wouldn't he Why just, who are you going to call, you know? <laughs> but apparently, like, they sort of solved that with the new director for Iron Man 3. Yeah, uh, they said that the Avengers storyline will be acknowledged in the movie. It'll be known that Captain America and they Thor exist. and Hawkeye, everyone is there. But it's still just going to be a movie about Tony Stark being Iron Man and yeah. a superhero, which is cool, you know, because yeah. you're going to get what you want out of the Avengers. You know, you're going to see that team thing in the Avengers, so you can still go to an Iron Man movie and see... An Iron Man movie. Yeah. Ooh. So I, I think that's awesome news, and I'm glad that they've decided to do that as opposed to having, you know, Thor stop by or, you know, Nick Fury calling him every yeah. five minutes to tell him something. And so. I agree, because I would much rather see, like, 
the character that is Tony Stark. There's a lot of people out there that hate that character. Yeah. But I love the, the, Me the entire too. idea of Tony great. Stark and what he goes through and how he his personality in general, you know? Yeah. So, Not only that, I just love what Robert Downey Jr. has done with the character. Oh, totally, because so. he's brought it to a whole other level of, one, funniness, but two, depth. Yeah, and it'll be cool to see him interact with teammates, but it's cool that he can go back and... Just see Pepper. And just do the Iron Man exactly. Tony Stark, not Avengers Tony so, Stark. Very excited to see it. So I think I just got one of the greatest pieces of news ever today. By this sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, no, as I hope you guys know, I don't know if I've made it clear enough, I am a <laughs> giant Call of Duty fan. That's mainly what I play, like, almost every day. I got the idea. Yeah, 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 you know, you know. Um, and I'm also a huge Star Wars fan. I know everyone loves Star Wars. If you don't, I don't know what your problem is, yeah, but seriously, your parents probably didn't this? love you or whatever. Anyways, um, those two finally come together, this, this, um, company, Black Monkey Studios, I guess is their name. They have made a mod for the Call of Duty, um, uh, the Call of Duty 4 for PC, where you're able to play <laughs> as Star Wars characters, with Star Wars blasters in the Star Wars universe. You play in Mos yeah. Eisley, you play in, in the Cantina and all these different locales, and you use the blasters with the sights, and the kill streaks <laughs> are even Star Wars themed with TIE Fighters and TIE Bombers. I have to say, they sounded this sounded cool, and then we watched the video and showing it. It was it looks awesome. so well done. It looks like Call of Duty, except but you it's have like Star this stupid it's... little rebel helmet or <laughs> a freaking cool scout helmet. Like yeah, it, it it I just it looks so cool. I can't it wait. It looks for this. so I, cool. I need a gaming computer right now. So I'm right there with me you. One, I'm, I need I'm gonna have to get to it to play this. Even, I'm not gonna have a life anymore. I kind of hope they. I was really hoping this would be like something for the 360. But yeah, if it was on 360. It was one of those things that I really thought about, and you know, I'm not much of a gamer on computers and stuff. And then I saw the trailer, and now I need to go buy this for my computer. It's only eight maps. It's only like eight maps. It could be three like maps. It could be three characters. maps, and I'd be fine. It doesn't matter. It's Star Wars and it's Call of Duty. Just this beautiful marriage of. And they did it really awesome. well. It's it's new. They just came out with it, so they might have a few kinks here or there, but. Who cares? Who cares? You're still getting to play as Star Wars characters. And in my book, that's the coolest thing in the world. So Let us know what you think, though, in the comments below. So we have a new date for our calendars to mark. I hope everyone does this with me. July 26th, 2013, if the world doesn't end. Hey, well, um, it's fine. Thor 2 has officially, Thor 2, sorry, has officially been like set. That's the day it's going to come out, right? Awesome. I cannot wait for this. This is like one of the best pieces of news I've heard in quite a while. You and me, the Thor is actually one of my more favorite. Uh, After the Dark Knight is pretty high up there in terms For of superhero movies. movies. Yeah, it yeah. was It was a superhero movie, obviously, but it was still like a pretty original idea in terms of what we've seen yeah. in a superhero movie. It it's all been, it's that responsibility route, but great, gods and like, Great humor yeah, and yeah, just, yeah. It's, oh, it's big action. It's just perfect. Um, another good piece of news, Crims Hesworth is coming back. Yes. Unfortunately, Ken Branagh is not coming back to direct it, but everything's cool. It was like an amicable split. He's kind of weird, and he's gonna do his own stuff. And, cool, and cool. I, I think it was kind of his experiment for the year. Works for me. I mean, he did a great job. He did um, an awesome job. What is cool is that Don Payne, one of the guys who wrote the first Thor, is gonna actually write the second one, which I'm stoked about because he did a great job. And for a movie that had a 150 million dollar budget, it did extremely well worldwide. With like, they brought in like 437 million dollars. Wow. Especially being that globally, not a lot of people know who Thor is. Like, yes, there's the Norse, Norse myth and... I mean, the Europeans do, obviously, yeah, but, like, but there's a Asia, lot of different people, yeah, 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 who had no idea who Thor was. And they did amazing, you know, especially compared to other movies that have come out whose names we're not going to say, because mm -hmm. it hurts my soul. Yeah, I know. Funny story, Don Payne has also written uh, the likes of my super ex-girlfriend. Oh, I didn't see that. I, yeah, neither did I. I saw I, the fake flying shark and Owen Wilson. Because I, like, I knew oh, better. Owen Wilson and I, was I like, no. knew better. It's kind of, yeah, it's good right there. You don't need to know any other. It's just that awful. But he did a great job with Thor, so. He did an awesome job with Thor. Actually, I think he also wrote Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver oh, Surfer. Dang. Which I know it probably shouldn't mention because it's. I wasn't going to say anything. He's probably the one who was like, Galactus should be a cloud. But whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's what he wants. That's what he wants. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how We're still excited. Out. July 26th. Hey there, nerds. Jasmine here with my pick of the week. It is the new Thundercats show that's going to be on Cartoon Network. I didn't grow up in the generation, the kids that watched the original, so I'm really stoked for this one, and it looks epic. So that's a win-win for me. Hey, guys. Brandon here with my pick this week. I know I'm going to be letting down my Star Wars brethren with this one, but it's Star Trek, the original series. It's available on Netflix Instant Q, and I just, I've been 
waiting to just watch this. Just to watch it, I wanna go through and just see if I like it, but I'm giving it a shot. Sorry guys, that's, that's my pick this week. My pick of the week is definitely gonna be Google Plus One. It was just unveiled last week and I'm all about it. It is basically just Google's version of Facebook, but it actually uh, integrates a whole bunch of stuff that you love about Twitter and Gmail and everything into one stop shop. Uh, you get all your friends, you can check everything like that, but you can also separate your friends into what are called circles, which is, if you do the Twitter thing, it's kind of like lists. The best thing about it is, say you update, I'm updating about uh, recent things that I'm writing for NerdLocker. I don't want to update that and tell everyone that I'm writing. I can actually just do an update for the NerdLocker crew and just them, and they'll only see my update. Or I can also choose to do all of my acquaintances, all of my friends, all of my NerdLocker, NerdLocker friends. It is just the amazing... Uh, social networking portal that I've been waiting for for a very long time. What's important to me is you just go out and watch the videos that Google put out for you. They are very informative and you will understand what you're doing once you get finished. Um, for me, it was just, this is our third time getting to social networking. I think it's about time we've learned how to do it in a slow and patient manner. Go in, add your friends, separate them into circles because in the long run it will really pay off. This will be better than Facebook if we can all come together and see exactly what it can do. All right, guys, coming here again with my pick for the week. Uh, I just went to Warp Tour this past, or last week, and had an awesome time. Um, saw a ton of new bands, and I gotta say, my pick this week is Bad Rabbits. They're a Boston band. They are amazing. So good. Funky, soulful, rock, punk. I, I, that's the best way I could describe them. They just sound great. I mean, they came out with a ton of energy. They really had, they put on a great performance. Uh, uh, my friends picked up their CD. I was able to download it and like listen to it with them and it's all we've been listening to. So I gotta say, Bad Rabbits, give them a listen. It will definitely be worth your while. Hey the nerds, Steven here with my pick of the week. My pick is actually a shout out instead to Jim and Patrick, our behind the scenes men. Without them, the website would not happen, the videos wouldn't happen, but since they're behind the cameras, nobody ever knows and nobody ever sees. So in the comments, if you could, give them a little bit of a thanks because they do a lot of work and they don't get any credit. All right, guys, that is it for episode 41 of Nerd Locker, but be sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube page. My name is Brandon. And I'm Jasmine. And you guys have a nerdy week.